Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to my studio. It's been a while. I haven't been in here to teach you something new in ages. And maybe for some of you, this is the very first time you're joining me. So welcome, welcome to my little humble space. It's not much, but it's everything to me and hopefully it's everything to you as well. If we haven't met, I'm Kelly of Color Crush. That's right. A whole new way forward, all of my art courses, all of my brand, everything magical and colorful and glittery is all under the Color Crush brand. You'll see that coming through in Color For Your Inbox, my weekly newsletter, with fun and playful ideas that are coming soon for the Color Crush brand and maybe even products and new art courses. But in the meantime, right now, we are gonna dive right into grid journaling. Why grid journaling? And why free? Because I'll tell you the truth, I just want everyone to get into this and see that it is a fun, playful, easy thing that you can do, no experience necessary, and it'll warm you up to figure out what you love, what colors go well together, maybe compositions that'll spark new ideas. And it's a way of playing and enjoying the process without having to worry about the product because in and of itself, it's just your journal. It's just for the journey of creating. So there you go. We're gonna do grid journals, super easy. I have a bunch of lessons for you. A lot of them are repeats of stuff that I've done in the past. I'm just bringing them in, editing them up, refreshing them for you and making it easy for you to find and watch on a regular basis as much as you'd like, as many times, as you need to refresh your mind, your memory, your, your creative juices so that you can make any kind of art you want in your own grid journal as well. Here's the thing though, I only ask one thing from you. Can you please share this? The more you share and tag either Kelly Wynn Studios or Color Crush Creative, the more we can get the message out there that more people can do the grid journaling and then if they find the right kind of art course, within my program, that's fabulous. If not, at least they've sparked that joy in creating and they're gonna find the right people to align with and keep making more art. That's what the world needs more than anything else is to make more art. So please tag your friends, share your work, use the hashtag grid journal and let's see if we can't start a movement here, okay? All right, over to the table. Let's make an art journal page together. Okay, let's just dive right into this fun little juicy journey we're about to take. This is my art journal. You'll hear me talk about it over and over again. It's a Stillman and Burn. That is a really great sturdy art journal that you can use. You All the supplies are linked for you. So whatever you have on hand, man, just a piece of paper folded in half and turned into an art journal is fine. It doesn't matter. The point is to use what you have. And one of the things that I have a lot of is all kinds of collage material and fodder. I save this stuff, anything that I get in packaging, um, doodles and drawings and sketches that I've done. I also have this whole bin, like every time I get packaging from something, like I order probably way too much from people I find online because I just adore all of you makers. So sometimes I'm doodling. I have fun doodles today. I think I'm definitely gonna be using that. Maybe, you know, just bits and pieces random. I collect everything in this little bin and uh, pull it together for something that might be fun and cohesive. So this is what I'm seeing. I'm gonna put my little sister's golden stuff. If you don't know them, you definitely wanna follow them. Anyhow, so I'm gonna put this stuff to the side. Maybe I want a little bit of, oh man, I guess since it is September and Halloween's around the corner, orange and black, probably be appropriate, but I'm not trying to make a Halloween. I'm trying to make something really bright and colorful today because I've really been in the joyfulness of using bright colors. Look, that's from packaging, a bag that somebody packaged up, a really beautiful little gift, and it makes such great collage material. What else am I going to be using? Today I'm using some uh, water-soluble graphite or other mark making tools and possibly my favorite Posca pens. I'm just absolutely smitten with these now. It took me years to get into it but having these pens, these acrylic paint pens to layer with is so much fun. Probably gonna doodle with them a little bit today but you're gonna see them popping up in my work a lot more in the near future. So let's just get into 
this art journal process, this grid journal that I love to do. So I'm just gonna um, get this wet. And as always, you're gonna see this over and over again in the little fun lessons that I have available. I love to just scribble and doodle until the page feels like it's broken in. And the reason I do this is because it warms me up, it gives me ideas for composition. And the whole point of this grid journal is just to play. And so hopefully what you're gonna take away from, from doing this little mini course is that art is meant to be an expression of ourselves, a joyful, playful, I don't know, just a journey. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. It's a journey of exploration and discovery. And what better way than in these little grid journals? Look at, I'm just, I'm, I'm seeing what this water soluble pencil does when I move it in a different way. And what marks do my hands want to make? How do I want to express this? You're going to see this come out in my work a lot in the near future. It's a lot about play and joy and exploration. And, and not so, you know, I've done all the lessons I could possibly do on color theory and, and composition and design. And that's all there for you to enjoy and take away. But I'm hoping what I bring to the table in the future is a lot more in personal self-discovery and I think that in the process of discovering yourself and discovering what makes you tick what makes you light up that story woven through your life you're going to figure out exactly how to make your art your art instead of trying to perfect everything when it comes from our heart when it comes from those places inside of us that really light us up that's when the work's going to get better it really is. So, as you can see, this is just playtime. It's like back to preschool. Isn't there a place for that still in our lives? So, I don't know how many of you have never really done art journaling before. Now that you've found this course, you're like, okay, what is this madness all about? And then there's probably a lot of you who are artists and maybe your practice has gotten a little in a rut and hopefully this will warm you back up to new ways of exploring and thinking. The lessons that you're about to experience are from live lessons that I've done and little mini demos I've done over the last two years. I figured I'd just put them all together for you in one nice place where you can come back again and again and explore this idea. And if it suits you and it works for you, you can come back and take one of my other classes. Or I might, maybe I've just lit a fire in your heart and now you'll go off and you'll just make hundreds and hundreds of grid journal pages and see where it takes you. And that would just thrill me to no end. It's really, my hope for the world is that we find that joy. And if that's in your create, really honestly, if, that means that you can allow your creativity to come through. That thing that we are innately born with, well then, I've done my job. All right, so play time with the, with the pencil, with that little graphite stick is done. I'm gonna pull together and start seeing what happens when I bring these different colors in. Now, see what I mean by the Posca pens are so much fun. Acrylic ink, I love it because it layers so well it's opaque and you can layer on top of other layers. But my thought today was to go for bold colors contrasting with black. And um, there's something about that that's just so much fun. It's just delicious. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna pull these pieces together. We're gonna use some glue stick and or other types of glue, that, that's nice, this is great. I'm just gonna tear a little bit off of this because if I kind of narrow down my selection, I'm gonna do better. So a little pro tip for you, you'll hear me mention it many times. Limit your options so that you can go deeper. Honestly, there's nothing, to me, there's nothing better than a limited supply for each time you sit down to make work. You have your parameters your boundaries. 
Look at this is coming together pretty fun. See, I'm gonna save all those in my little bin for later. Got this bright orange, and then so when making these activated, you have to push down the tip. So that's what this is. I use this, I test it, and then I'm like, oh, that's kind of pretty in and of itself. So why not? Just keep playing. Just keep playing and having fun. Do I have anything else in here at the moment? I do have some bright stuff. Um, this, I love the chunky stuff, but that's not stuff that I usually use. But I will use some of these other things. So it's all up to you, though. I don't want you to take from what I'm doing and say that there are specific rules involved in how to make one of these journals. Especially because I'm going to just make a mess out of everything that was not even dry yet. Today is a glue stick kind of day. I don't feel the need to do anything more than a little bit of yoo-hoo, ooh-hoo stick. <laughs> Whatever it is. Oh, you guys, avid art journalers out there, you'll tell me. You'll tell me exactly. I'm going to start with this really fun. It looks like it was a um, one of those stamps you used to get at the grocery store so that you could like get something extra collect them all till you had a ugly set of dishes <laughs> and let's get it right in there with this I love to tear sometimes cutting is appropriate but let's see we we'll make this a circus can we make this a circus today give giving you permission as well as me to make a little circus because it's what we need. Just look. So with these little mini art journals, these grid journals, really the idea is is that you're going to explore in different ways on each and every page, which means this one might be colors and black and white and feel like a circus, and the next one might feel like a trip to Paris, and the next one might just feel like home on a cozy autumn day. It's just like let the emotions, the feelings, the ideas, the brightness or the subtlety all come together however you're planning on having it come together. Does that make sense? It's like no rules but each set has its own feel and you're going to explore compositions and designs through the process of, design, of making this little journal. really been into making my own collage material lately. I love this jelly plate and you know I have thousands probably of prints that I've made over the last couple of years and now I'm really putting them to use in ways that make sense. And some of them are just handmade. Like this one here I painted little peach colored circles on the deli paper. So all these little bits. Let's see. I do look at the overall composition. I like it when everything kind of starts coming together as one. There we go. Too much fun. I'm already super excited about this layout. I need some bright. So we could go two ways here. Hang on, I'm gonna cut the part I don't need. I can go this way, or I can just get certain color strips, but all I did was play with the markers. Honestly, there was nothing intended when I did it. I was just like, oh, these markers are really pretty colors. Let's see, how do they work together? And next thing you know, I've got myself this fun, I think I need a little more cut off of it. And there we go. Oh yeah, let's bring on the rainbow. It's really where I'm going with Color Crush. I have all kinds of crazy ideas. And when I say crazy, I mean that in the best sort of way. It's like, uh, let's call Color Crush what it really is. It's me tapping into my eight-year-old heart, all the fun, colorful, playful things that I loved when I was a kid, 
rainbows and unicorns and I'm not ashamed to say it to tell you the truth it's like I really want to bring that back I want to bring I want to bring it back so bad I'm making it happen so you can see oh it's just so cute look Maybe that's not what you're into because you're going to see the other side of me is all about travel and timeless, historical, architectural, symbolic. There's always so many different sides of us. Lean into who you are when you're making your art. Don't look at the outside of what's trendy or popular because you can make something trendy and popular just by creating it yourself. Ooh, there's an idea for you. Start your own wave. All right, I love these. I don't know what I was thinking when I made them, but they're so much fun. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna offset them so they're not perfect. Where do we want them? They wanna go over here. If I let this speak to me. Nope, I was right the first time. It feels like it should go right there. Do you see there's nothing fancy about this project? You could even put this on 10 times speed and you'd still get the idea. But what I'm hoping is, as you're listening to me ramble on about all my ideas, is that maybe I'm infusing something in you, in your mind, that you're worthy of making the art. And whatever you create is meant to come into this world. Too many people are afraid to tap into that that we're really holding ourselves back from making a more joyful place. So, I make this for you. I hope to light a little fire under your rear so that you're making more art, inspiring more people and getting more people to play. Bring your friends and family along, share it, share your enthusiasm. I don't care how cringe you think it is, as, as the cool kids say. <laughs> ah, this is, what's left scraps left from a book I bought when I was in France oh how long ago 15 years ago holy crap it's been a long time ago since I lived in Belgium I have an affinity for that area I have an affinity for all things Europe maybe in a past life maybe that was me Let's see, where do we want this? Right in the middle? Yeah. And this too, we're gonna put this in. So I'm letting what's underneath dictate as well. What's supposed to be showing and what needs to be covered. Excellent. I'm gonna bring this back in. Now, one thing that I'm trying to show you is that I start placing things in places that the whole grid composition starts looking really lovely. So if I have this here, I want to bring this piece somewhere over here maybe. Oh, that's really pretty. Let's see. If I go on here, what's happening is, is the black is going to show and that's really quite fun. I liked it up. Okay. A little big. There we go. All right, we need more. Let's see now, we're gonna bring that over here. Perfect. Right there. I do my grids in all different kinds of sizes. Um, my standard is this little two-inch post-it note that I use to make the grid. You can make any size you want, use anything and trace it. That's the easiest way. So I've used this post-it note to trace each and every little square. Sometimes I'll use like a tag and that's given me this lesson here where we are able to go in a more of a rectangular shape. I also have larger squares and grids. I'm going to show you the whole journal though. Don't don't you worry about a thing. <laughs> I'm 
going for something a little more solid this time. So we'll go for a bigger bit. Ah, right here. That's where it's calling. Use your instincts. We don't want everything symmetrical. We don't want it perfectly balanced. So use your eye. Think about composition and design each time you're doing it, because this is a great practice um, to, to really hone in on that skill of composition, which is one of the reasons why I love this so much. But you're gonna really learn a lot about color and composition in just this simple little art journaling course. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go to town here and add a few more layers. sure that this needs a whole lot more because look at how much fun and colorful this is all turning out as we add layer after layer I'm simply just adding whatever inspires me I've got some extra little bits that I pulled out another little I love to take just index cards and start doodling on them so I have all kinds of fodder I could go on and on and on but I think I'm gonna end like create a little bit more excitement if you will I'm gonna make polka dots i can do all kinds of fine line detail versus filling in and it's really a lot of fun to be able to use have you used them before i would imagine most artists here are like really into it like a must in your toolbox. But if you are new to journaling, it's something you can add to your wish list. I'm gonna just see what we can do with, I got this really bright orange happening here. I've kind of been excited by fluorescence. So I'm just gonna see what happens if we add a little bit of fluorescent to pull our eye around the entire page, right? There, how about here? Um, ah. I really love fluorescent. 
And we'll come back with this pink because, yeah, pink. You've been bit by the doodle bug yet because I might start something here. Hopefully, I'll get you all excited as I am about how fun we can make it. This is that gleeful little girl side of me being able to be playful and free. All right, I'm coming in here with my final marks. I'm just, you know, adding the colors that I can see, pulling my eye together in every little spot. It doesn't mean that you have to fill up your entire grid. It's just a matter of having fun and making sure that you're, you know, I don't know, playing along. Well, if I'm not careful, I could get carried away easily with the doodling. It's definitely something that I'm finding really enjoyable and meditative, if anything, lately. And we all know that we need things that bring us joy. So um, I'm just going to allow this to be what it is and stop before too long. Again, we're not looking for perfect. We're looking for fun. We're looking for playful. I think I made something quite wild and playful today. What I'm really hoping is you'll do the same and then you'll continue to explore all of these art journaling lessons and see what comes up for you. What is it that is the most enjoyable about what you're creating? Which pages felt tedious and boring? This is going to be a clue as to what to make next. That's why I know when I have soft and beautiful green or bright and colorful, it's all working in my favor. I, I can go either which way, but there's such small little explorations that I have a chance to just enjoy the process, you know? So each, each one of your pages is gonna look different. Each time is a limitation on certain ideas and supplies, maybe even a completely different change of shape. Here you can see I really dove into the Posca pens or you go softer and you're bringing in some elements that you really love, like hands and foreign writing and whatnot. Where are you going to take your grid journal? I hope that you explore your own voice in it and, you know, have fun with the lessons that I have available. But please tag me and share with me.